were kids. I want to say like ages four, 13 to 14 and up. And it's a, these are a good read if you want to branch Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and some other works of Stephanie Beyer. The Twilight Saga is about a girl who was in love with a vampire and what they'd go through so they could be together in the end, fighting with enemies, family, keeping secrets. <sighs> it's better for you to read this read the uh books. Also included in the Twilight Saga is the short Second Life of Bree Tanner and the Twilight heavy the Twilight Saga official illustrated guide. Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined, which is the first book, Twilight, in which Bella is a boy and Edward is a girl and flip-flop gender-bending. I don't know if that's the right word. I apologize if I offended anyone. And there's a new book in the series coming out later this year called Midnight Sun. And Midnight Sun is the reason why I want to do this video. Midnight Sun was a like kind of novella that my Stephanie Meyer wrote and shared the first ten or twelve chapters, but it got leaked. So now she decided to release Midnight Sun as a companion book to the Twilight series. I read the Twilight series many years ago. I read them during my senior year of high school. Read him about four or five days. You know, not, it was Thanksgiving weekend, so knocked him out. But anyway, while I love the books and reading about vampires and the different powers and what they can do with them, one of my thing was one of my things was vampires do not sparkle in the sun. That's it. That's all I've got to say. That's it. That's my own personal opinion. So, do with that what you may. I can't... I'm probably going to reread the story. Read the books. Only because I want to familiarize myself with the story again. I read these over ten years ago. Nah, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff that happened, a lot of information that could possibly help me when Midnight Sun is released and after I get it. So, but these are good to read. The books are good to read, yes. This is just my opinion, and I do recommend them for younger kids. I want to say like ages four, 13 to 14 and up. And it's a, these are a good read if you want to branch off into like kind of the paranormal YA genre. But with this video, I also want to talk about Stephanie, Myers, Stephanie Meyer's other books. The Host, which is pretty much about a parasite who gets inserted into a human girl. And they each try to fight for control over the body of the human girl. With the host, I couldn't finish it. I read the first chapter or so. And I just put it on the bookcase and I couldn't read it. I could not finish the book. I don't know why. It's one of those books where I just put it down and forget about it. But I can't forget about it because I want to read it again and I want to 
try to finish it, but every time I pick it up, I can't finish it. The Host is a first in the series trilogy, but Meyer said that she's probably not going to release the other two books. If it was, if the other two books were released, I'd probably reread, try and finish The Host and read the other two books. Only because I really want to finish the host so badly. I I don't know why. I want to be one of those people who's finished a book like that. Especially when this just when the host has been critically acclaimed. I just can't finish it though. Maybe in the future, maybe never, we don't know. Another one of Maya's books is called The Chemist. The Chemist is pretty much about a former agent who, I think she got fired, but, she, and now she's on the run. This is another one of Stephanie Meyer's books that I couldn't finish. Yeah, it has promise and a lot of espionage and suspense, but I can't, I don't know why. I tried to get it in it like two or three times, but I can't. It's a good premise though. She used to work for the U.S. government, but very few people ever knew that. Expert in her field, she has secrets. No, she's on the run. She has to make up new identities and traps in case somebody follows her. And that sounds good. That sounds something that I possibly might be in. But I can't finish the book. I'm not trying to bash the book or bash the author. I'm really not. I just wish that I could finish The Chemist and The Host. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this. In her, the Twilight series, The Host and the Chemist, because Midnight Sun is coming out soon. I can't wait for it to come out. When I get it, I'll update you guys on how it was, what it felt like to finally be going back into Forks, Washington, and seeing all those characters from the Twilight Saga. Have a great day!